WLWT News 5. Absolutely. And I was just up there seeing where Karen is. Yeah. We didn't even get to that part of the mm -hmm. devastation. So it's a lot to get through for them. And just a few hours before those storms hit Logan County, another line hit southeast Indiana and southern portions of northern Kentucky. And that's where we find meteorologist Adam Berniston, who joins us live now. Adam, where are you seeing where you are? Yeah, Ashley, uh, uh, we are here in parts of Milton, Kentucky. It's right near the Ohio River, Madison, just on the other side. This is where it appears, at least from National Weather Service surveys, they're still out here kind of doing surveys, but it appears this is kind of where that tornado started or at least spun back up across the region. You can kind of see here behind me, we've had some damage to the roof. There's some roofers already on top of another business here in town uh, getting some blue tarps up trying to kind of protect from any kind of moisture that uh, could still come into our region. But as we continue here around, we still have more damage to some roofs, some minor damage here and there. But the biggest damage we're seeing is just right here behind us. It's this uh, RV that has been kind of flipped over. If you want to show that, Henry, that's with me here today. Uh, fortunately, no one was in it at the time, but uh, the owner is out here today. I just had a quick word with her before we were doing our live shot and she said she's doing fine. She was somewhere else at the time, but she did have a dog here that was able to fortunately escape and kind of run away. But you see that it was flipped over. All kinds of trees are down here in this area uh, from that likely tornado. As I mentioned, the National Weather Service has done some preliminary surveys out in this area, and there's even more damage even further down this road. We've seen a lot of electric trucks uh, going down here, probably due to some uh, down power lines. This road has been closed. so. Uh, as I mentioned, National Weather Service has some preliminary surveys and they're saying likely is a strong EF1 to a weak EF2 tornado that went through parts of Milton and down the Ohio River here. So that would be winds of 110 to 115 miles an hour. So we're going to get more uh, uh, views of this area, kind of get the lay of the land. We just got here moments ago. So this is kind of the first damage we're seeing, but we'll bring more throughout this afternoon and into this evening live in Milton. Meteorologist Adam Berniston, back to you. Adam, thanks so much. Well